Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing a little Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty here. It is year four, game number 12. We're taking on the Rice Owls on the road in Houston, Texas. We come in at six and five. We are five and three in Conference USA and have won five straight games. Coming into the final game of the season, looking for our first winning record here in year number four. Quick look at the matchup. Southern Utah, C overall. Rice is a B minus, a B offensively and a B minus defensively. Uh, you can say with their four and seven and three and five record that the Rice Owls have very much um, underachieved this season, uh, based on their ratings. So they come in averaging twenty five point five points per game, and we come in averaging twenty one point nine points per game. Let's take a look at the leaders for the Rice Owls. Uh, Tyner, 1,851 yards, 15 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Nishan Ellerby, 834 yards on the ground, 75.8 yards per game. Clyde Chris, their leading receiver, 53 yards per game. Murphy, their leading tackler. Parks has three interceptions. And Abercrombie leads in sacks with eight. For the Southern Utah Thunderbirds, Mitch Dalen's our leading passer, 1,611 yards, six touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Marquez Trigg creeping towards the 80-yard mark per game, 860 yards overall on the season. Todd Glover has 408 yards on the year. Marcus Poole is our, or Manuel Poole, sorry, is our leading tackler at 69. Eddie Garrison with four interceptions, and Eric Horn leads the country in sacks with 13. And you are looking live at Houston, Texas, Rice Stadium. It's Southern Utah and the Rice Owls. We played Rice once before. I believe it was last season or the year before. I get year two and three mixed up. But we fell to Rice the first time that we played them, so we get a chance to beat them here on the road, this time in conference play. Southern Utah receives the kick. Josh Smith, 16 yards out across the 20 to the 22. And here comes Mitch Dalen. Dalen read option right up the middle and he's got lots of room that might be the longest run of the year for Mitch Dalen 23 yards on the read option probably surprised himself with the amount of space he had to run the football gets out across the 40 near the 45 yard line first down and 10 for the T-Birds give to Marquez Trigg left side of the line goes up to the 47 yard line second down and six and the screen pass out to Offatasi, or the swing pass out to Offatasi, short of the first down. Here's the trig. He gets around the end. He's to the 30 and pushed out of bounds at the 27 yard line. New set of downs for the T Birds. Dalen play action. Throws off of his back foot, and the pass falls incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Thunderbirds. Dalen flushed out to the right side, throws on the run, and it's incomplete. Third down and 10. Dalen, screen pass to Glover, and Glover will be stopped short. And the Thunderbirds will attempt a field goal. This will be about a 40-yarder. And the kick is up, and it is good. It's 3 to nothing. Southern Utah, 7.20 to go in the first quarter. Phillips to kick off. This one will be fielded in the end zone by Whitaker. He'll take a knee, and Rice will get the ball at the 25. Here is Jackson Tyner, the quarterback, out to Lyles. Welsh comes up, makes the tackle. Second down and eight for the Owls. Tyner from the shotgun. Tyner left side, finds Lyles again. This time it's broken up by Welsh, third down and eight. Tyner 
Stepping up in the pocket, throws to the left side. Lipscomb makes the catch, and he will be tackled by three Thunderbirds. Short of a first down, it's fourth down and three. Rice will punt it away. Back to field to kick his Glover. It bounces off of him. It's loose, and it's kicked around, and Mays comes up with it. Southern Utah manages to recover the muffed punt. First down and 10, give to Trigg, left side of the line of scrimmage. Picks up seven, second down and three for the T-Birds. Still leading three to nothing as we approach the midway point of the first quarter. Marquez Trigg has a first down. Uh, screen pass out to Trigg to the 45, picks up four. Second down and six for Southern Utah, Dalen from the shotgun. Over the middle, finds DeLuce, and DeLuce is into Rice territory. At the 44, Dalen again. Dalen stepping up, letting it go deep down the right side pass. Picked off by Bickham. And another interception thrown by Mitch Dalen. It is first down, Chris in motion. Read option, Tyner keeps it. Tyner picks up three, second down to seven. Tyner rolls out to the left side, and Folka Folka is gonna take him down in the end zone. And that is a safety. And Southern Utah takes a five to nothing lead with 3.56 to go in the first. So a free kick here, Rice will punt it away. Josh Smith fills it at the 34. He's to, mid he's to uh, midfield, breaks it to the left side. He's got some room, cuts back. He could go all the way to the 20, 10, five. Touchdown, Josh Smith. 67 yard touchdown return. And just like that, it is 12 to nothing. Southern Utah with the lead. 3.42 to go in the first. Kickoff, Whitaker takes a knee. Rice will get the ball at the 25. Tyner from the shotgun. Quarterback draw right up the middle, picks up three yards. Second down and seven, Tyner finds Clyde Chris on the slant. He picks up 12 or 13. First down and 10 for Rice. Tyner standing in the pocket. Lots of time, throws over the middle. Finds Chris again, he breaks a tackle. He's down to the SUU 35, Rice moving the football. Here's the give to Deshaun Ellerby. Ellerby gets to the 35 yard pickup. Second down and five, Ellerby again, and he is tackled from behind by Foca Foca. Third down and three, Ellerby right up the middle. Weaves his way for a first down. New set of downs for the Owls. Lyles in motion from the right side. Here's the give to Ellerby. He stiff arms Veno Petit and picks up seven yards. It is second down and three. First quarter coming to a close. Third down and seven now with a minute to go. Tyner, screen pass, right side, Horton to the 15. Has a first down and is down inside the 10. Tyner now, left side catch made by Cephas. And he is down inside the five. There is 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Give to Ellerby, up the middle, touchdown, Owls. Nishan Ellerby with the touchdown, it's 12 to seven. And Rice will kick it off. Back deep to fill the kick is Marquez Trigg. He will take it from the eight. He's out across the 20, the 25, to the 30, and out to the 33 yard line. First down and 10, Mitch Dalen and Southern Utah. Trigg left side, he's got lots of room. Cross midfield, down to the 40, tripped up. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter with Southern Utah leading 12 to seven in a somewhat unconventional start to this football game here in Houston. Marquez Trigg picks up a few, it'll be second down and seven. Dalen swings it out to Trigg, Trigg breaks a tackle. Still gonna be short of the first down, short gain, third down and five for the Thunderbirds, Dalen. Dalen over the middle, Smith makes the catch, falls forward, first down, Southern Utah. They're at the 28 yard line. Dalen play action. Dalen lots of time. And Dalen just runs out of options, nobody to throw the ball to. Should have just thrown it out of bounds. Throw the ball away, Dalen. Ursu, a five yard pickup, third down and 14. Dalen again finds Trigg. And Trigg is going to be short of the first down. It's fourth down and four, Southern Utah. To attempt another field goal, Paul Phillips kick up, splits the uprights, and it is good. It is 15 to seven. Whitaker takes a knee, 
Rice gets it again at the 25. Jackson Tyner give to Nashawn Ellerby. Right side tackled by Andrew Eide. Second down and 10 for the Owls. Tyner from the shotgun setting up a screen pass. Right side Ellerby has it. He's across the 35. He'll have a first down for the Owls. First down and 10, 11 yard pickup. Here's the give to Ellerby again. He's a workhorse for Rice. Six yard gain, second and four. Lipscomb in motion from the left side. And here's another give to Ellerby and he's gonna have another first down. Nishan Ellerby, first down and 10. Rice could tie the game with a touchdown and a two point conversion. This one is broken up by Max Veno Petit, the safety coming up in coverage. Second down and 10 and Tyner is going to be sacked from behind. This is That was uh, Tony Terrell with the sack. Third down and 12, pressure again. And Eddie Garrison and Kyle Mays get to the quarterback simultaneously. They're going to give the sack to Mays. And Rice will have to punt it away, fourth down and 20. Glover fields the kick. He's out to the 35. And that is as far as he will get, maybe to the 36. First down and 10 for Dalen and the Thunderbirds. Give to Trigg, left side. Picks up a couple. Second down and eight for the T-Birds. Give to Trigg again on the counter, and Trigg is gonna be buried behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and 11 for Southern Utah. Dalen hit and dropped, sacked. Loss of six yards. That is Rice's leader in sacks, Zach Abercrombia. And the T-Birds will have to punt it away. Whitaker fills the kick, brings it back across the 30 to the 34. Ellerby, draw, loses two. Second down and 12, Tyner. Screen pass left side to Ellerby. Ellerby's got blockers in front of him and lots of room, but is stopped short of a first down. Third down and three, Ellerby sweep to the right side, picks up the first down and six yards. New set of downs for the Owls. Here is the give to Ellerby. Right up the middle of the field, and he is stopped at the logo. Second down and four from midfield. Ellerby right side, he's to the 30, 25, 20. Down to the 10, five, and down to the two. A huge run for Nashawn Ellerby, and Rice is gaining yards on the ground against the nation's top, def uh, top rushing defense. And a touchdown for Rice, two-point conversion, Ellerby runs it in, and we are tied at 15. So Rice just running the ball on our defense. Marquez Trigg back to field the kick. We got 147 to go in the first half. We're all tied up at 15 here in Houston. Southern Utah will get the ball at 40. Trigg. Picks up a yard, it's second down and nine from the 41. Dalen screen pass Glover. And Glover swung down, third down and nine. Less than a minute to go, Trigg in motion out of the backfield, leaving Dalen all alone back there. Dalen steps up in the pocket, throws to Smith. Smith has a first down into Rice territory at the 46. Here's Dalen on the option, he's gonna keep it and falls into the line of scrimmage. Picks up maybe four yards there, falling into the back of the offensive lineman. Dalen's flushed out to the right, and he's just going to throw this one out away. That's what he should have done a while ago when he took a really bad sack. Third down and six, Dalen. Screen pass, Trigg. Triggs to the 40, breaks a tackle, gets the first down, down to the 40, uh, 32. And with 16 seconds, the Thunderbirds clock it. They do have one timeout left. Dalen throws right side, catches made by Trigg, and he's not going to get out of bounds, and Southern Utah will have to call a timeout. With eight seconds, Dalen flushed out, throws, and luckily it was dropped by Trigg. And we can bring in Paul Phillips for a field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it sneaks in past the left upright. And we're going to go to halftime with a three-point Southern Utah lead, 18-15. to 15. Third quarter. Southern Utah kicking off. He goes out of the back of the end zone. Rice will get it at the 25. Jackson Tyner read option. Tyner, first down, picks up 15. Here's the give to Ellerby. Ellerby picks up four more. Southern Utah not stopping the run, and that's causing all kinds of problems defensively for him. Left side, another rushing first down for Rice. Here's the throw to Lyles. Tyner was hit as he let it go. Still completes the pass. His first down and 10 for Rice. A touchdown would take the lead here for the Owls. This time Ellerby is stopped in the backfield, second down and 14. From the Southern Utah 44-yard line, Lipscomb makes the catch. 
and he's going to be three yards short of a first down. Tyner under pressure, and he is sacked. Fourth down and five. Chris makes the catch, and it's a Rice first down. 14-yard pickup for Chris on the slant. Tyner from the shotgun. Pressure from behind. He just lets it go out of bounds. Second down and 10 for the Owls. Tyner, left side, Lyles makes the catch. ID makes the tackle, bringing up third down and eight for Rice. Tyner again, looking for the screen, and it is broken up and incomplete. Fourth down and eight, Rice will have to attempt field goal. This will be a 35-yard field goal, and it's wide right. Pushes it to the right, and it is still 18 to 15 for Southern Utah. Dalen, under pressure, drops the football, and it's recovered by the Owls at the two. Oh my goodness, Mitch Dalen is a turnover waiting to happen, whether it's interceptions, fumbles, or what, whatever. And Rice is going to get the football, first down and goal from the Southern Utah 2. Richardson in motion, give to Ellerby on the right side, touchdown Rice. And the Owls have taken the lead with 6.53 to go in the third. 21-18. Rice has their first lead of the football game, now 22 to 18 after the PAT. So 6.50 to go in the third, Trigg fills the kick. 18 yard return and Southern Utah will take over at the 31. Here's the give to Ursu, a jet sweep, picks up a couple, second down and six. Actually a four yard gain. Here's the give to Tayeli, his first carry of the day. And he's upended, third down and six for the Thunderbirds. Dalen flushed out. Dalen, he's going to tuck it and run and scamper out of bounds. Pick up the first down. And he finds Smith on the slant for four yards. Second down and six for the T-Birds. Trigg picks up a couple. Third down and four. Here's the give to Trigg again. He gets a big block by the tackle on the left side. And picks up a Southern Utah first down. Dalen, give to Trigg. And Trigg is stopped after a short gain, second down and nine. Southern Utah's in Rice territory. And Deleuze makes the catch in traffic, a six yard pickup, brings up third down and three. Dalen under pressure, drops the football, and is picked up by Hubbard. And old mother Hubbard is down to the 41. Another turnover by Southern Utah, and Rice has the football again. 22 to 18, Owls with the lead, and Southern Utah Surrendering a lot of momentum to Sean Ellerby with a 13-yard gain. Chris in motion. Read option on the jet sweep. And the quarterback, Tyner, keeps it, and he's down inside the 15 to the 16. Motion again by Lipscomb. Read option, Tyner keeps it again, loses a yard. It's second and 11 with 2.11 to go in the third. And Jackson Tyner hit from behind by Tony Terrell. Third down and 16, big play here. For Rice, screen pass to Ellerby. Ellerby is caught from behind, breaks the tackle, and is still short of the first down. It's fourth down and eight, and Rice into attempt to field goal with 1.25 to go. This is a chippy, and this time he pushes it to the left. Unbelievable, two short missed field goals by the Owls. Southern Utah gets the ball back, no damage done from the latest Mitch Dalen turnover. 106 to go in the third. Marquez Trigg left side picks up six. Second down and four for the T-Birds. Dalen under pressure finds Glover. First down out near midfield. Nine yard pickup. 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Trigg right up the middle picks up six. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the Rice Owls up by four. And Southern Utah looking for their first winning season in FBS program history. Second down and four, give to Taeli, and Taeli stopped at the line of scrimmage. Third down and four, big play for the Thunderbirds. Dalen, right side, Adams makes the catch. He's to the 25, stiff arms the guy and gets down to the 15. A 30 yard reception by the big tight end, William Adams, and Southern Utah with a chance to take the lead here in the red zone. Dalen steps up. Finds Ursua. Ursua's down to the nine. Third down and three for the Thunderbirds. Big play here. Read option. Dalen keeps it. And he powers his way for a first down and is down to the one yard line. First down and goal for the Thunderbirds. Give to Trigg. Right side. 
Touchdown Southern Utah and the T-Birds take the lead. Marquez Trigg with the score. And Southern Utah goes up 25-22 here on the road, looking for their sixth consecutive win to close out the regular season. Whitaker fields the kick, takes a knee. Tyner, read option. Pulled down from behind by Tony Terrell. That was dangerous on the ACLs right there. Second down and 12. And this one almost thrown uh, backwards. It was almost a fumble, but ruled an incomplete pass. Third down and 12. Tyner, hit as he lets it go. Over the middle. Pass picked off by Beno Petit. And Max Beno Petit with the interception as Southern Utah is going to get the ball back with a chance to lengthen their lead out. 7-10 to go in the fourth. Dalen gives to Trigg. Trigg stopped after a short gain. Dalen from the shotgun. Dalen swings it out to Trigg in the flat. And Trigg is up to the 45. Third down and two. William Adams in motion from the right side. Here is the give to Trigg. He follows Adams. Out to midfield. Right at the 50. Dalen. Play action. Dalen. Under pressure, drops the football again, but it was ruled an incomplete pass. His arm was going forward, I suppose. Second down and 10. Uh, Christian Taelli picks up three. Third down and seven. Dalen under pressure, and he will go down this time. Sacked for a loss of 11. At least he held on to the football. Fourth down and 18. Southern Utah has to punt. Whitaker fields it at the 10. He's out across the 20, pushed out of bounds at the 25. And Jackson Tyner and the Owls will take over. Quick screen pass out to Lipscomb. Lipscomb loses the football. Vino Petit has it. He can take it to the house, to the 10. Five, touchdown, Southern Utah. But wait, oh my gosh. The booth is reviewing it, and he was obviously down. On the live play, it looked like it was a fumble. But that is obviously his knee was down, and that one is coming back. So the play is reversed. Second down and eight. Tyner pump fake, and then just throws it out of bounds. Third down and eight. 4.17 to go. Big play here. Third down and eight. And Myers gets to Tyner. Sacked for a loss, and Rice is going to have to punt it away. They do have all three of their timeouts remaining. Glover will field it. And he is out to the 45. Eight yard return, Southern Utah give to Taelli. Southern Utah, a couple first downs away from ice in this game. Up 25 to 22, Trigg just short of the first down marker. Third down and one, I formation. Trigg in the backfield. Toa Afatasi, the fullback in front of him. It is a play action. Dalen out to the right side, finds Afatasi, and he has the first down. Toa Afatasi. First down and 10, clock still ticking, 225 and counting. Two minutes and 15 seconds away from their first winning record. Dalen dropped. Loss of five. Third down and 12. Big play here. If we want to uh, avoid giving Rice the football back. Here's the throw. Oh, and it's picked off by Bickham. Hamilton comes up and does not make the tackle. And then Trigg takes him down. Justin Bickham, his second interception of the day. And here come the Owls with a chance to win the football game. Left side, Ellerby has the first down, is out to midfield, almost, the 49. Tyner, flushed out to the right side. Welsh comes up, makes the tackle. Second down and four, a minute 36 to go in the game. Second and four, right side, Lyles makes the catch to the 30. He's to the 25, he's down to the 20. A minute 20 to go, first down and 10, Rice, Tyner. Tyner stepping up, throwing left side, and Mays is there to break it up on the sideline. Second down and 10, a minute 14 to go. Rice within striking distance here, Tyner. Tyner under pressure, throws to the right side, Ellerby goes nowhere, third down and nine. Remember, Rice has struggled kicking field goals. Third down and nine, Cephas makes the catch, breaks a tackle and gets the first down. Oh, that was costly, a costly missed tackle. 40 seconds, Tyner. Stepping up, throwing to the end zone, pass, picked off by Daly. And Daly's out to the 10. Bad, and this football game is over. Mitchell Daly picks off the pass in the end zone. And it looked like Rice was going to punch it in and win the football game. Southern Utah is going to take a knee. That's the end of the game. The final score is...
And in year number four, we finally have secured ourselves a winning record for the first time. Player of the game, Marquez Trigg, 120 yards rushing. He was at 860 total coming into the game. So he falls 20 yards short of a 1,000 yard season. If we are awarded a bowl game, he should get to that 1,000 uh, yard season pretty easily, I would think. So the final score here from Houston, Southern Utah 25, Rice 22. Let's look at some stats. Rice outgained us 311 to 265. On the ground, 136 yards for the Owls, 118 for us. Through the air, they had 175, we had 147. We are 10 of 17 on third downs. They were 4 of 11. We had four turnovers that nearly cost us the football game, and Rice was picked off twice. And that ultimately, on the last play of the game, did cost them the football game. So we had only one red zone attempt offensively. We came away with a touchdown. They had six attempts, came away with three touchdowns and no field goal. So we end the season at 7-5, and 6-3 and three in Conference USA and end on a six-game winning streak beating UTEP, North, Te North Texas, Tulsa, Weber State, New Mexico State, and Rice to end the season. So let's look at the final standings in the Conference USA West Division. The Texas El Paso Miners win the division with an 8-1 conference record. They were 8-4 overall. Their lone conference loss was to us, and that started us on our six-game winning streak to close the year. We come in in second at 6-3. Texas San Antonio, Tulsa, North Texas, Rice, New Mexico State, and Weber State. Over in the east, the Florida Atlantic Owls win the tiebreaker by the head-to-head uh, -head victory over the Marshall Thundering Herd. Both teams finish 7-2 in conference. Florida Atlantic will go to the Conference USA Championship game to face the UTEP Miners. Middle Tennessee and Louisiana Tech were 6-3, and three, and Florida International and Southern Miss were 3-6, and six, so by far the, that conference or that division was the toughest. The SEC Championship game, the Florida Gators win it over LSU, the Pac-12, USC over Stanford. The ACC Championship, Florida State over North Carolina. Now let's look at the G5 champions. These uh, will be the teams that will be uh, moving up, Fresno State beat Boise, Toledo over Miami of Ohio, and UTEP beats Florida Atlantic 31-30. to So let's look at the chopping block really quick. In the ACC, Memphis wins the American Championship, so they will be joining the ACC. The last place team in the ACC, Syracuse, will drop down to the American. Toledo moves up to the Big Ten. Purdue falls back to the MAC. UTEP to the Big 12. Texas Tech will take their place in the Conference USA West Division, so they will be on our schedule next year. Fresno State into the Pac-12. Cal will fall back, be relegated into the Mountain West. In the SEC, Western Kentucky will join the ranks of the SEC. And Texas A&M, last place in the SEC, will end up in the Sun Belt. And we have been invited to play in the Beefo Brady Bowl in St. Petersburg, Florida. And yes, that's not a typo. We are playing the SMU Mustangs for the second time this season. At first, I was a little disappointed, but excited for a chance at revenge. We fell 35-13 to to them in Week 2, so we'll get another shot at them, and that'll be next on Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty on Mama's...